Hey everyone, Josh here from Help HQ. Today we're going to be talking about how to update Mac OS when you're running OpenCore. So the purpose of this video is going to be for anybody who's running OpenCore Legacy Patcher already and a version of Mac OS that is not supported on their Mac computer. If you don't meet those two requirements, then this is not the video for you. Let's get into it. Okay, switching over to the PC, you can see that I am running Mac OS 12.3.1 and I do have an early 09 Mac Pro. This is a 4.1 flash to a 5.1 and I am using the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 684 gig. Moving on, if we click software update, you'll see that 12.4 uh, is available. But before we click that update button, we want to make sure that we head over to the OpenCore Legacy Patcher website and we grab a copy of the latest version of the patcher. This is key. You always want to make sure that you have the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher installed prior to doing any kind of Mac OS updates. I'll throw a link down in the description for um, the link for this. But for those of you that want to follow along, we're going to select Download and Build Mac OS Installers here on the left, and then on the right, we're going to click Open Core Legacy Patcher Release Apps. This is going to take us to where all the different versions are that we can select from, and we are looking for version 0.4.5, which is the latest version of Open Core Legacy Patcher as of the making of this video. We're going to scroll down under the Assets section, and we are going to select Open Core Patcher GUI .app .zip. Once we get the file fully downloaded, we're going to want to head back over and extract it. And you should get something that looks like this once the file is extracted. For me, I just double clicked it and it did it automatically. We're going to go ahead and open up that Open Core Patcher application that was extracted from the zip file. You might get some sort of prompt like this because it's a downloaded file, just select open. And then from there, we're going to want to make sure that we select build and install Open Core, which is the very first one right here at the top. And then you're going to see a menu that looks like this, and we're going to go ahead and click on Build Open Core, and then we're going to select Install to Disk. After selecting Install to Disk, you're going to be prompted as to which drive you want to install Open Core on. And for me, I pulled all of my drives except for my boot drive to make this easier, but you may have more than one drive listed. If so, select the disk that you have Mac OS installed on. That's your primary boot drive. From there, it's going to ask you to install the EFI partition on that disk that you selected. So we'll select that. And then from there, you're prompted to enter your password. So we'll do that real quick. And once you click OK, that starts the installation process. So once that's done, you will be greeted with a screen that looks like this, asking you to reboot your computer. So we're going to go ahead and select Reboot, and we'll be right back. Once you're back from rebooting, we'll go ahead and uh, go to About This Computer, select Software Update, and then we'll see 12.4 is available. So now is the time that we can click Update Now and start that download process. It is important to note that your computer is going to go through several restarts, and it may look like the software update has frozen or has hung, but if you just wait it out, uh, for me, it literally took like an hour or so for it to complete this process. So just don't be alarmed if it, if it takes a little while. Another important thing to note is that by installing the Mac OS update, um, you're more than likely going to have to reinstall any drivers that you had to install through OpenCore. So if you're using legacy Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, or if you're using uh, Kepler NVIDIA drivers like I am, uh, we're going to have to reinstall all of that. And we'll cover that later in the video, but don't be alarmed if once the update finishes and your computer's finished rebooting, that you see that you don't have Wi-Fi or you have really slow uh, mouse cursor due to the loss of video acceleration. Once the update is done downloading, it'll look something like this, and we can go ahead and click on Restart Now to start the installation process, and then we'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay. 
and welcome back and as you can see just as I suspected unable to check for updates we have no Wi-Fi in the upper right hand corner there are no networks that we can connect to so to resolve this we're gonna reopen the open core legacy patcher application this time though we're gonna select post install root patch we're gonna select start root patching you should get a prompt that is asking you to relaunch the application as root we will select yes type our password and select OK it should relaunch the application just as you see here once it relaunches then it's going to go through and build all of the patching and install it so this could take a couple minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pause it and then we'll be back once we get the pop-up to reboot our computer okay and we're back and this is the reboot pop-up that you should get after the patcher is done installing everything so we'll go ahead and select reboot now and restart our machine and I sped that up and so we're back and then now as you can see in the upper right hand corner I now have a solid Wi-Fi I did not retype in my Wi-Fi I didn't try selecting to a network I didn't change my wallpaper all the settings that I had previously before the update came back and as you can see we are running 12.4 here and so that about wraps this one up um, Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch these videos. Let me know down in the comments if you had any problems with this. I'm more than happy to help out or answer any questions that I can. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.